Okay, we are about to qualify for a regular late model fixed setup, 50 lap race, no cautions, at Concord, and this place is always a bit nuts to race at. Uh, real quick, before we get into that, 8 p.m. Thursday, July 1st, uh, that would be tomorrow, I guess, when you're seeing this, Formula Knee at Gateway on the Roval, same format as last time, 44 spots open this time, and uh, hopefully it will be a pretty fun race, it's going to be a lot more draft with the uh, oval, there's really only three turns on the track, um, the rest are flat out, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. going to go ahead and adjust the brakes back just a bit here now and hopefully put in a decent lap. So, turn three. Really wide entry. Bad exit there. This first lap is essentially a throwaway now. That's okay, we're gonna get the tires up to temp, or maybe a little too far up to temp. Let's hope I don't screw this last one up or we're going to be starting way in the back. In the race, you're going to have to go a little low on corner entry into three. Otherwise, you're going to just get a car up the inside easy. But while you're out on your own, nice little cutback, straighter exit. We go from 11th to hopefully better. Fifth. Okay. Well, that's about... About right. I can handle that. See how far off we are and see how many people are going to wreck. Well, uh, back half of the field is definitely struggling for that speed. And let's see how many incidents. No one has spun, so that's good. We nearly did. Uh, the leader, he's going to be gone. And then it looks like it's going to be a battle between the two, four, eight, myself. And we'll see what the seven, six, and nine have. Cat is angry and yelling for some reason. Um, yeah, this track... It can provide good racing, but if you got idiots, um, there's going to be a big mess in turn three. So you have to have people that understand, sure, you can drive it in way past everyone into three, um, but don't take people out. And that's where we're going to run into some issues so unfortunately uh sounds like this track is now gone or shut down i don't know if it's completely demolished but uh definitely one of the most unique short tracks especially that we have on iRacing nothing comes close to how crazy this place is and it's a half mile it doesn't feel like a half mile i think that measurement is a bit off. iRacing has it listed as five turns. Um, I I would call it three turns, but uh, I guess we're going five turns for this one. So, kind of surprised we're doing 50 laps here. But, uh, I guess it's a shorter lap time. I'm going to say it's not really a half mile. But that's just me. So, we have qualified fifth. That at least gives us the inside. And we're just going to have to play a bit of a patient game. And see if, first of all, we can keep the tires on it. Not burn up the right rear or anything. You'll be lining up on the inside. And then closed. second, not get hit. And the cat has just jumped onto the back of the chair now and is trying to claw down the back of 
my shirt. Get under your tree, dumbass. Alright. Hopefully that's the last of that. Uh, closing in on 7,700 subscribers, I think. Or is it 7,800? 7,700. Two away from that. At 10,000, the cat gets her own video. And, uh... I don't know how interesting that'll be. I will try to make it somewhat decent. But... Ready to roll off. So, as the number three car, obviously should finish third. Not sure that'll happen. Most likely, we'll just get ran over in the first lap because I'm going to be taking it easy. Now, the leader has a big advantage here because if he goes now, most of the field's still got to go through the last turn and can't be really accelerating. So, One left the green. earlier he goes at the apex of turn three, or as iRacing calls it, turn five, um, the bigger lead he's going to have. He's already way quicker than us. About to go green. Stay focused. Brake's still at 53. We'll probably Thanks move that off. back a bit. But here we go, and let's hope the guy behind us doesn't plow us over. Leader goes when he should to get an advantage. We're going to sneak up to fourth, though, because outside... Oh, my God, this guy behind us might be an idiot. And I don't know why this guy is stopping that hard. I was just trying not to get ran over by the guy behind us that was looking three wide. Alright, cleared him. Sorry to the four. Wasn't my intention, but holy crap. He stopped for turn one like it was turn three. Okay, at least we got rid of the six car and the rest of the field. Um, looks like we all sorted out. The guy that started on the outside of me, though, might have got kind of screwed there because we got into a three-wide situation. Definitely wasn't my intentions. I just had to go for a space that was there because we were stopping. I don't think we got any damage. I'm not sure we got a 4X or anything like that. Guy behind is catching. Um, not too concerned about that. Like I said, I am just trying not to screw up and not overheat the tires. Top two, we've got no chance of getting to. These guys in front of me, the eight and the four, we've got a chance, and I'm supposed to finish third anyway. So that's going to be the goal. Just kind of working the throttle through that one and two, uh, very loose into three with the brake bias how I have it, but you need it that way to get the rotation. like the four car is going to take a look under the eight. They get racing side by side. Could slow them down. Nine laps in the books as we cross this time. And we're ticking them off pretty quick. So glad it is a 50 lap race. Four's diving in now into one. Gets into the eight a little bit, I think. And the eight's gonna go really wide. I probably could have dove it up there. But it wasn't the time. Would not.
not have got a good exit anyways, and I am really screwing up my driving at the moment, so. He grabs a bit of the apron. We got someone who spun. That was a lap car, though. Got a decent run on the eight. We're not going to take it into three. I want to set it up off of two and then pass underneath in three. Looks like the eight just pushes up really wide. And almost. He goes ahead and just goes wide, gives up the spot, so we'll take it. I didn't quite have the run, but he had pushed up so wide in the two that we were nearly there. I think he's just trying to get to the end right now. Don't think we're going to be able to get the four. Unless he screws up. He's looking fairly quick now that he's opened up the gap and we're getting really loose on corner entry into three. 17.022. Little clip of the apron doesn't hurt into one. Let's try to stay on throttle a bit as we break for three. 16.022. Nine eight one. I'd like to switch the last lap on the Delta Bar, but don't really have time. Sixteen point nine six two. Nine six two, a little quicker that time. Four cars still pulling away though it looks like. But we are opening the gap up behind us. Four's a little slower through uh, three, then seems to go quicker through one and two. Probably because of pushing wide like he is. He's just carrying more speed through there. Little drag of the brake. Or at least trying to do it. Point he gets zero, a little loose zero, into eight. one. Nearly to halfway, so a long ways to go. No pressure behind. Probably going to get to lap traffic. 17.063. Yeah, he keeps pushing wider and wider and wider, and I think it's because he's... Whoop. Well, we nearly lost it all there. Um, he's going much harder through one. And then pushing wide, and he's having to use a lot of steering to get it to go through two. It's quicker at the moment, but I think it's going to start hurting him. 17.0. Oh, he's got a little eight. loose. Halfway in the race. So we've gained on him a bit. Not as much as I'd like. And where I need to be quicker. He seems to be just a bit quicker than us, but he's really bad through three. 17.07. But like I said, that is such a difficult pass to make. Unless you're side by side at entry. It's not one that you can just dive in and take. You can. You can dive in, door him. But most likely you're going to get hooked on the exit just because there's not enough time to get through there and do a bit of a slide job. We are really slow through one and two there. I screwed it up. It was way too wide. Do a little bit of brake drag here, see if I can figure anything out. Try to get last lap. 
figure out a bit. Try to find a bit more speed. 17.192. Oh, he screwed up three really bad. He went in hard. It got loose mid corner. He had to chase it for a bit. I need more of that out of him. He doesn't do it that time, but we're still gaining on him through there. I just need to get one and two down better. So staying a little lower last time helped me through the corner, but it was kind of dead even down the back stretch. Push wide as I try to get too much out of it there. And it looks like we're going to get fourth. Big loose on corner entry there. Doing a bit of counter steering on entry right now. Not actually getting to lap traffic too quick, so... They must all be piled on top of each other at the back, just behind the guys behind us. Really screwed up that turn one. Pushing wide, sliding the front end. 17.349. And this guy's just not making any mistakes, so... I need a few more mistakes out of him to be able to catch up. He's not doing it. 17.29. Try to run it hard through two. Didn't really do much for me there. Yeah, he's pulling away from us now, so uh, it's a fourth place finish. As long as I can hold on to this, got 12 laps to go. And kind of a boring race here. Um, we somehow ended up on the complete other side of the track from everyone. We do have lap cars coming up, though, running side by side, so... This could be the one thing that saves us. 11th and 12th place racing each other. Right at the end of the race. Could completely slow this guy down if he's a little too cautious. Or if they do some uh, chicken streaker stuff and change up their line or self-spin in front of him. or You never know what's going to happen. He's definitely backed off just a little bit. Or I've stopped screwing up. One of the two. A little too high there. Just going to slide all the way through there. Front end just pushed all the way through one. All right, keep the pressure up on him. He's definitely backed it off a bit, but I don't know if he's going to get to the lap traffic soon enough for it to factor into our race. Ooh, big slide for me. And that was wanting to go around. Yeah, I don't think the lap traffic is uh, going to come into play. It's right there. It's in his windshield, but um, not falling back to him quick enough. He gets a little loose on entry. I have a bad push 
into the wall a bit. I figured it wasn't going to be too hard of a hit, so I just stayed in it. Way too hot. Didn't gain on him at all that last lap because we were so bad. Two more, let's go. Lap car right in front of him is looking like he wants to screw up, but just isn't. And we've all kind of just leveled off on speed. Watch lag, watch lag. So the four car does a good job unless something really crazy happens here. He got going. He took it easy on the start. A little too easy. Almost, almost caused me to uh, plow into him after talking about others plowing into me. And uh, he does a good job holding us off. But fourth place finish, not terrible. Clean race from what I've seen. Maybe only one wreck, but let's go check that out and see what actually happened. First, I want to look at that start, because, oh my god, it was really bad all around. So, leader goes even before he gets to three. Four really slow off the corner, and then we got this guy looking three wide up the middle, and then four is really slow on corner entry, so I had to go to the outside. We get into each other, because I don't know where the car on the outside of me is. And he, of course, goes up even higher because, oh shit, we're three wide. He's still getting the three wide call. Six taking a look on the inside. Definitely not going to let him get by me. Luckily, he was terrible through that. Almost as bad as his uh, paint scheme that is just pixelated like crazy. And we get away, so... Let's take a look at the contacts. We're going to first have contact between me and the four. Just was not ready for that slowdown. 12 cars going to self-spin. And 13's there. And the five's under him. And that was a long wreck. Uh, win now racing. Not... Not following through on that one. Alright, we're already past the 8 car, and the 8 gets the wall. Leader's gonna just grab the wall a bit. 10's gonna grab the wall, and I think that's all we're gonna really see is wall hits now. Off of 2 and off of 3. Oh, I don't know what angle that was. Yeah, he's being nice and letting people through, but it's not working out for him. Ball contact off of one, that's impressive. Leader's got a ton of lap traffic. He goes ahead and eats the wall again. Yeah, I guess the seven is angry at the nine. Why is the 7 angry at the 9? I have no idea. Don't see anything that would be... I mean, the 7's still ahead of him, so... Looks like he dove into three once. Nine gets loose. The seven runs into him. Is that what the seven's mad about? Then the seven drives down onto the apron and drives up into the nine. All right, well, uh, apparently the seven 
is a bit clueless on who's at fault on that. But his name's Nick, so that makes sense. Nine gave him a little tap, but didn't do anything to him, and then raised him fairly clean. Oh well. Not my fight. Let's take a look at the results. And here we are, 22i rating. So now we're back to 3,900, because that's how bad everything's been going for me. And uh, fourth place finish, not even close on fast lap. Pretty much dead even with the rest of the field. Nearly one of the slowest. And uh, zero incidents, so not too terrible. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that race. Nice, quick, short one. And, uh, yeah, it's a fun track. Don't be scared of it. It's very easy to get a good finish because a lot of people push wide and hit the walls. So uh, just get a few laps in, slow down for three. You should be good. Thanks for watching.